Now, globalization has meant a big increase in the number of people leaving their home countries to live and work abroad. And one of the factors in choosing a new location is the availability of schools offering a widely recognized curriculum like the International Baccalaureate or IB program. Now, with a large expatriate population, Singapore has seen a surge in demand for such schools. Puneet Pal Singh reports on the sector as part of our ongoing series on the expat economy. Getting ready to lay the foundations of his future. Like most kids of his age, Dev Chavla's life is dominated by his education. In his case, Dev's parents, who are originally from India, decided to opt for an international school rather than a local one. When we moved to Singapore a couple of years back, uh, we chose an international school with their IB curriculum. Uh, we do not know for how many uh, years we're going to be into this country, so uh, it, even if we move to another country, uh, we know that we can actually stick on to an international school with an IB curriculum anywhere in the world. And Dave's parents are not the only ones who have that priority. That has created a huge demand for international schools here. The school that Dave goes to has more than a thousand students and this is just one of the three campuses that this particular institution has in the city-state. Over the past few years, Singapore has grown to become a key financial center and a regional hub for many global firms. That has seen a large number of expatriates come to work and live here, many of them with kids, driving up demand for international schools. According to the government's latest data, there are 31 international schools here providing primary and secondary education with more than 45,000 students enrolled in them. The sector also has an impact on the economy, with hundreds of millions of dollars of investment needed to set up such schools, and many more may still need to be built to cater to the growing demand. All the international schools at the moment are fairly chocker block despite the outgoing expatriates. There's an equal or more number of expatriates coming in. And despite the government's measures to cool down a little bit on the expatriate side, we are likely to see 8 uh, to 9% growth in the expatriates as well as resulting in education spaces for children. That means there are unlikely to be any empty seats in the classroom at Dave's school and other similar institutions. As parents go all out to ensure a better future for their kids, they are also helping secure a good one for the schools their children are studying at. Puneet Pal Singh, BBC News, Singapore. Now the